What's up YouTube? PJ coming back with another video for you guys and today is going to be something that I believe is long overdue for old Pegasus over here. So just stick around and watch what I'm going to do with Pegasus. <laughs> Alright, so first things first, as you can see by the title of this video, we are going to be data logging in the Cobra today. I personally have never had experience with data logging, but some of my friends have. And I've also done a little research and things about how to go about doing this. First, of course, they say you're going to need a wide open road or you can just go to Mexico such as I'm going to do. But first things first, let me go ahead and put you guys in the vehicle with me. Alright, so it's, it's very hot outside at the moment, but I'm not going to be doing this with my AC on just because I don't know what would happen if I did. So, I mean, maybe something might happen, maybe something won't, but I'm going to just take the extra precaution and just not do anything with it. I'm just going to sweat bullets for these few minutes that I'm going to be doing this. Alright, so as you can see, I have over here my tuner with me right here, and I also have my laptop that I'm supposed to be hooking the tuner up to. So let me go ahead and do that for you. Alright, so I have my laptop open now and I'm just gonna go click on live link which you can download off the SCT site is not too hard to find okay so once i have this open i just gonna click on i want to data log my vehicle and it's basically gonna walk you through the steps at least that's what i read and eventually i'm gonna get to a step where i have to configure or set the configurations for what i want to be data logged i went to bama's website and they have specific configurations that they want me to check off so I'm going to end up doing that and then I'll be right back once I have the configurations put in and I'm ready to data log. Okay, so I have this done as you can see it's plugged into the device and into my laptop. So I'm just going to hit next down here in this bottom right hand corner and now it's saying to plug it up to the OBD2 port. And now that that's plugged in, all I'm gonna do is press next again. And now it says to start the engine. And now it's gonna be checking communication. Okay, it has communication. So press this. Okay, so now I believe this is the part that they told me about. Um, I'm going to keep the first one checked just because on Bama's website, they have different parameters that they want me to go ahead and check off. And I don't believe they need all of them, so I'm not going to validate all of them. So I'm just going to press select items down here in this corner. And you can find the configuration on Bama's website, like I said. So I'm just gonna be back whenever I press all of the configurations. All right, so I finally finished doing that and it was kind of confusing to me just because I'm not really 100% sure like if I'm doing this correctly, but hopefully I did. It was pretty self-explanatory, but you know, I'm not a tuner or anything. But I guess now it's time for me to start actually data logging. And the first thing I'm gonna do is let it idle for about a minute or so and send that in. Then I'm gonna do a slow RPM climb all the way to red line. And then I'll finally be able to go to Mexico and finish up the data log. So to start this, I'm just gonna press this little button that they have right here and start data logging the idle. So I just finished the idle data log and saved that, but 
at the beginning of it there was an error message that was it said something like the y-axis input value for voltage table or something like that um i'm not too sure what that is so i guess i'm gonna have to leave that in the notes whenever i send this in or if you know what it is then you could just comment down in the section below and let me know what i'm doing wrong but i'm just gonna continue to do this data log as it's letting me do it but the next thing up i have a slow rev up to red line so i'm about to click the button and get that started And before I leave, I just gotta let you know that I will be riding with the windows down because I will have the air off again. And they told me to just do a couple third gear pulls. So I'm gonna set up my laptop before, well, when I get out there, I'm gonna set up my laptop and get ready to data log for three times. I'm gonna do it three times. So get ready to watch that. Hopefully this whole data log thing isn't just a big waste of time and I actually get something out of it. All right. actually did not work right on the computer on live link but the second pool it was pretty solid now I have to get another one in Mexico is pretty crowded tonight I'm on patrol I'm on patrol I'm on patrol Something weird just happened to my gauges. Like they were going up, they were almost, my RPMs were almost to red line. And then next thing you know, all of my gauges went down to zero. But when I let off the gas, they all shot back up. I don't know what's wrong with that, but I think it was just a fluke. But I'm about to head on back home and get ready to wrap this video up. Alright, so finally made it back home and I believe this is about time for me to end the video Pegasus I don't know what to say about it. She feels kind of sluggish I don't know if it's because of the heat or is it if it's because she's just real slow Actually, she's just real slow, but hopefully the data log does something good for it and we can make a little bit more power and get on down a little bit quicker. 
But if this video did give you some information about data logging a car, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up and comment down in the section below and let me know your experience with your car on data logging and if it was a huge improvement in horsepower and torque and I don't know, just let me know what you think on it. Share this video with your family and friends as always if you think that this could inform them about data logging or if they want a data log and don't know how to go about doing it because I didn't know how to go about doing it either but I just went on ahead and did it. And go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and make sure you hit the notification bell so you can get every notification for whenever I post a video because I don't know my videos tend to be kind of lit or if you just like the Terminator Cobra every one of my videos has it in it but all right thank you all for watching this video i enjoyed your time and always remember to do more be more believe more and achieve more thank you all for watching